Good morning, everybody. What a beautiful Friday morning we have here. Let me just quickly run over some things that I think that'd be good for you to be up on. First and foremost, this weekend is Chubbuck Days, and we start our celebration tonight at Stewart Park. Come on over and, and have a good time with us as we watch a movie. We're going to watch Princess Bride. That's going to be sponsored by both the city of Chubbuck and Allstate. I was watching the weather forecast. There's an outside chance we might get some inclement weather tonight. Might be a little bit of rain if that happens. We'll have to postpone that till tomorrow night, but let's all exercise our faith together and see if we can get a good night tonight to, to watch that movie together. Then tomorrow there'll be activities starting at seven o'clock. These activities will be at Cotant Park, where the first is going to be sponsored by Allstate, going to be a pancake breakfast. And that'll be again at Cotant Park from seven until nine o'clock. And then at 10 o'clock, we're gonna have the Chubbuck Days Parade. There are 76 entries, so it should be a wonderful parade. Once the parade is concluded somewhere around 11 o'clock, between 11 and three, there'll be activities at Cotant Park. Most of those are free. There are gonna be some, some, uh, some things that are gonna be for sale, but there'll be a lot of good free and fun things to do as a family. So let's come together as a community this weekend and celebrate Chubbuck Days. Uh, this let me make mention also that we have two more weekends of movies in the park. Next weekend will be How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. That's gonna be sponsored by On Semiconductor. And then our final one will be Ralph Breaks the Internet, uh, sponsored again by Idaho Central Credit Union. So tonight and two more Friday nights to have a movie in the park, let's come on and enjoy one another's company. Uh, I wanna make sure you're aware the gem prep uh, uh, school over in the mall is finishing their uh, product and they want to have a ribbon cutting. That'll happen on August 14th, excuse me, that's August 15th, that's a Thursday, and that's going to be at 4 o'clock in the afternoon for a ribbon cutting. So if you can come on over, come over and enjoy that ribbon cutting and maybe see uh, the product of what we have over there in a the school. Welcome back, Orange and Black will be in Old Town Pocatello from four o'clock until seven on Monday, August 19th. This is an opportunity for us to come together as a community and welcome students to Idaho State University. It's a fun uh, event to have. So again, put that on your calendar for Monday night, August 19th and come and welcome back the orange and black. Uh, the Greek Orthodox Church has their annual Greek festival on, on Saturday, August 24th. That's a real fun opportunity to come and experience some of the Greek foods and some of their culture and cuisine. So put that on your calendar and come and enjoy that. Then I just wanted to make mention of some of the, uh, the road work that we've got going on. First, the, the interstate ramp is going to be finished on time from what we can see. So hopefully by the end of October, the first part of November, we'll be using that ramp. And so uh, we're, we're grateful for that opportunity. A lot of good things are happening in that area right now. So keep your eye on that. And, and again, right now, I want to, to make sure you're aware that that is on schedule to be done as it was scheduled to do. We've had a few questions about what's going on over on Hawthorne Road between James and uh, uh, Siphon. Uh, we've had to replace some uh, uh, of our water piping in the street and the bid was just let this last week to get it resurfaced, to get it repaved, that will happen before the snow flies. I know there have been some who've been concerned uh, that that would be, whether that would be put back or not before winter sets in and it will be done. The last thing I wanna to talk to you about, we had uh, a group come in and talk to us on our work study session last Wednesday called uh, the Energy, Technology and Environment R Working Group. They've been put together by our Regional Economic Development Group and they're They've got some wonderful things that they reported to us. And just let me tell you one portion of that. They were talking about the things, some of the things that are happening out at the INL. Right now, the Naval Spent Fuel Handling Facility is being built. That's a multi-billion dollar project and bringing many jobs to our community and uh, to our area. I guess I shouldn't just say community. You might think that that's here in, in, in the Chubbuck area, but to the, the region. And that is, that's happening at this point in time. The next thing is something that some of you may have heard about, and if you haven't, I'd suggest you do some looking into it. It's called a small modular reactor. And that's something that's being produced that will produce energy, uh, electricity, and they tell us that uh, some of those things could be used to, 
to replace some of the dams that are on the Snake River, uh, to restore the, the salmon runs. Uh, those, are, those are things that are being uh, looked into, but right now my understanding is they should have one of those up and running probably within the next two years. And it looks to me to be a very successful uh, endeavor, and if it is, it will, ch it will change the dynamics of our area. There'll be people coming from all over the world to find out how these small modular reactors work and to get them. So that's something that I would suggest each of us keep our eyes on. And then they reported to us something called the National Reactor Innovation Center, and that's something that they're looking in bringing into our area. It's not uh, officially going to be here yet, but they're looking to bring it here. So those are great things that are happening out there on the site that uh, are going to bring some great uh, opportunities to our area, and I thought that you ought to be aware of that. If you have any questions about that, get a hold of us at the office and we can tell you a little bit more that we know. But I know that as I've looked into this small modular reactor, that's an exciting thing that's happening in our area. So everybody have a great day today. Again, let's get together this weekend and enjoy one another. As the city of Chubbuck, we've got a lot of people coming in to support us in this and should be a great time. We'll see you again next week.